So we're in this. Hello. Hello. Hello, David. Hi, I'm David Gordon from Theater Mania. It's Monday, July 20th. I have to look at the, the screen on top of uh, on top of this to see what day it is so I don't forget because everything is just right. Yeah. Right now. Uh, I'm here with Jay Sanders and Marianne Plunkett. Uh, stars of, well, Jay was in uh, A Girl from the North Country mm -hmm. uh, when Broadway shut down. And they, for the past decade, have been involved with Richard Nelson's Rhinebeck Panorama, the latest of which is now it's called And So We Come Forth. Mm -hmm. uh, hi. Hi, how hi. are you? I'm well, how are you? Very good. Thank you for playing with me today. Uh, I wanted to talk about these Apple the Apple family plays, because I was just telling you before we went live, I feel like I've been on this journey with you for 10 years. Yeah. Right. I went into it, I didn't know what to expect uh, to that hopey changey thing. So and, I think we could, say the, we could say the same thing. Yeah. That was the beginning when Richard had written it as a one-off to be, and, and referred to it at the time as a disposable play, that he wanted to do something that was so much in the moment that it wouldn't pack the same impact quite likely soon after we did it, uh, certainly not for the years to come. And it's been exactly the reverse, that it's been such a, uh, the specifics of it have made it so universal. And that's true with all of them, that uh, they, they go on and people keep coming to us and calling us and saying, when are you coming back? Well, and that's how I came to feel about it too. Uh, and I would go on the opening nights and because I would write about them all the time. And each year I felt like I wanted, I kept wanting them. I kept wanting to see them at different points throughout the year. Uh, and then in, I guess, 2013, when 2013 rolled around and the last play came about, I felt really upset because I had felt like I had invested yeah. so much time in them. Right. Uh, family, you know, even when we toured around the world, and Richard talks about this sometimes, um, where he, his initial reaction when he was asked for us to do this, it was sort of, well, what, you know, what is this country going to want to see about our family in Rhinebeck? And ultimately, the, the, the operative word is family. And right. Around the world, it's you realize really the dynamics within families are similar, um, no matter which culture or that there are. You know, there are certain dynamics that exist within a family. It would be a fascinating thing to have a, actually to have a convention of, or, or a uh, festival of family plays from around the world in which you would see um, family represented from all these different cultures, which would obviously point up the similarity, mm -hmm. uh, the same heart of, of every table that is sat at uh, would would be the same. I uh, never thought about that. That would be a really cool idea. Yeah. You sit about you think about people sitting down. Everybody sits down to have a meal. Yeah. One way or another, you know, so everybody has some version of their table, whatever that is, and coming together with their family and the people they know and the people they they know so well and are known so well by that they uh, not take them for granted, but they assume their presence. Right and expect their presence. And I think that's, um, it becomes a comfort to the audience to sit down with people who are that kind of relaxed with each other, just talking about stuff, not talking for each other, but talking uh, talking with each other, just, just reacting to what's going on, what it means to be alive at this moment, not trying to win each other over in political conversations or, uh, or, or making a case for one thing or another, but being with yeah. each other. Uh, how did how did the the digital versions come about? When did Richard call you guys and say I've written another Apple play? He, he started with uh, he started with an idea to do the um, the Decameron. Mm -hmm. He called me with an idea saying, "Hey, listen, we know all these actors all around the world." and we're stuck in this situation. We can't get out anywhere. Why don't we recruit a bunch of our friends and have people do, each person do a different story, record themselves, you know, with their computer or, or phone, 
from all around the world and we'll do a series of stories from the Decameron to get us through this ver our version of the plague. And um, it, was a, it was a great idea. He threw it down really fast as an idea. And I said, yes, sure, let's do it. Why not? Let's, let, you know, it's something to do and let's, let, let's do it together. And uh, obviously we were going to do things and other people who had been in the different family shows, but also friends in England, friends in Germany, friends uh, in Italy, wherever, you know, yeah, to have a feeling of, so that it was an international thing, just like this pandemic is, of people, human beings talk, telling stories to each other to get through. That lasted for a few days and the, the, our friends at the public were so busy with all the stuff that was going on there, um, Richard said, you know, I haven't heard back from them yet, but um, anyway, I've had, I'm starting to have second thoughts. I'm worried that maybe this would be too depressing an idea to say this is the plague and this right. is getting by and all of which seems really actually normal right now. And I'm noticing more and more projects around the people basing them on the Decameron mm -hmm. for that idea. Yeah. But, uh, I said, okay, if, it, if you think so, let's, he said, I, I, I'm going to drop it for now. I don't think this is, I don't think this is the answer. Okay. You know, let's, let's rethink. Well, a couple of days later, he got back to me saying, I know what, I know what I want to do. And it was the idea. I said, I want the apples to sit down and talk. And what we ended up doing in that first uh, piece, uh, as you recall, was in the style of the Decameron, we told each other stories. Right. You had the family element of those were the people who were doing it. It wasn't us as actors telling, uh, connecting out just out through the Internet. But it was us talking to each other, trying to find comfort, trying to remind each other that we're not alone, which is an ongoing uh, message in all of this, and, uh, and make the time go by in a way that led forward to something. And he wrote that his version of that, and that was really where it started. What um, Marianne, your character is arguably—I don't want to call it the protagonist of the, the series, but the focal point, more or less. What is it like? Well, what is it like for you and for both of you to come and translate this these characters that you had played live for the screen? Um. Well, it, it was strangely easy to come back together um, with these people, with these, with this particular family. Yeah. Um, we have not been with the Apples for five years, four, five years yeah. now. The when we did the, the 2015 tour, two thousand fifteen was our so was five our years, tour. and yeah. other things have certainly um, occurred in that period of time. But just sitting there and seeing the faces, and at least the first play, it was interesting because we'd have a rehearsal on um, Zoom. <clears throat> and at the end of it, we all said, this sort of feels like we're actually in a rehearsal room. It feels like we're talking to each other. And we were talking to each other. But I felt by the second one, the sadness of that we're not in the re really, you know, this is a replacement for it. And we still haven't been in the same room. Yeah, with, We've with done two other. plays now. We, we, we haven't seen the actual of faces them. of any of those people, <laughs> other, right. except that the way that the audience boxes, does um, on the screen, right? Which is kind of odd too. But and the so that re that reality of, wow, we're really in this here. I really uh, feel that in that play, in the second play. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It's been wearing on me. Um, I got my first hug with our son since March tenth, um, just on Friday. Uh -huh. um, and it just, it was sort of, isn't this bizarre that, bitter, and, bitter and we had, you know, we held our, we had masks on, held breath and went in for a hug. Yes. And then out. And I thought this is so unlike how we live our lives really. Um, yeah. And it's funny. I feel like, I feel like these two plays particularly, they captured the emotions of the time in such an interesting way. Like I feel like uh, the first uh, online Apple Play. Uh, what do we need to talk about, or what do we have to talk about? Uh, everybody just felt shell shocked. Yeah. Like you didn't really know how to react to yeah. what's going on in the world. And then this particular play, you just feel like sad and very, very like depressed. You had it right the first time. It's what do we need? Yeah. To talk about? Which is 
which is different. Yeah. Because it was that. It was about the need. We needed to come together. We needed to see each other's faces. Yeah. We needed to feel we were as close as possible despite the distance that was forced on us. Well, also, the, the difference between the two, because in the first one, and we were coming together, and it was early on-ish, and Barbara had just come out of the hospital. So right. out of that fear of, right. she says, I thought I was going to die, and Richard says, we did too. Uh, so out of that, the joy of just seeing each other's faces, and now it's two months, uh, with the second right. one, it's two months later, so that and also Tim was isolating himself right. because he was, you know, feeling not well. So that fear isn't is no longer the prominent emotion, but we're in still in the same situation. Yeah. And what do we do? You know, and as Marion says, you know, she puts her hand up to the camera, she says, This is not the same about that she has not been touched in um, four right. months. Yeah, and um, by another, not even bumping into someone in the grocery store. Like people avoid each other. Yeah, and yeah. you know the, this sort of yeah. new world we're living in that Richard so brilliantly uh, presents in such a quiet, just people talking to each other way. You know? Yeah, the group. We're so lucky that I mean we have such a relationship with these other actors. It's a obviously. Sally and Stephen and Lila are extraordinarily talented people, but also we know each other, right? And that that um, text text texture is so evident without us having to work at it. We put that thing together in a week. I know it's unbelievable. Both, both of them were done in, in about a week, and uh, and I they mean, weren't it, full rehearsal. They were no, like three or four, three, four hour hours rehearsal at, days at the time. Yeah. And and Richard uh, was. He also knows us so well. So there's so much, you know, people say, you did it that quickly. We say, no, we did it in 10 years. Right. You know, it was all, yeah. it's the, it's it's building on what we've been doing all this time, which is so lucky. But you, um, I, you, I have to say all of these, all the people we're collaborating with, including Ido, our, our uh, technical person at the public and, and our stage management, everybody, we're all, very close and very tuned in to what these things um, mean. And yeah. it, as a result, we we relax. I mean, I feel it's it's amazing how little pressure we felt, despite the fact that you feel a you know you feel oh it's we're on you know right. we are, we're doing this. But it's the relaxation necessary to do this is the same basically the same kind of relaxation as talking to you here now. Do you did you guys do these in one take or was it like a movie where you went back and you shot certain segments? We did the first one we did live, right? And Richard held his breath as did everybody. It it's never been done live. before. Yeah. It was broadcast I, live. The first part was not a single glitch, not a glitch. And what you see that was that night, and then what was shown after that was exactly what we did. There was no. But the second one, we decided we didn't have the same pressure. We really did the night before. Uh, and we ended up, we had a glitch with our camera, actually, of all things. Uh -huh. that it stopped, it, it changed focus. I went out back to get a letter in the thing, in to the, pick up a letter the, to come back and read yeah. it. And when I came back, the focus didn't come back. And that happened twice and both both takes were terrific of the scene yeah. but we had to go back and do it again so it's actually the third take of that scene of the um, final of scene. the final scene yeah. and other than that it was all yeah straight. but but you know you just don't know there's so many things that can go wrong you have all the you have four different households with uh, computers and and uh, internet you know i just love you know, the thing I love about seeing them live are the, you know, there's just so many small details that go into the live version. And just seeing, you know, just seeing your characters' names as the, the Zoom. The yeah. Zoom yeah. Yeah. And just seeing, like, Richard's, like, government, New York State government. Yeah. 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 Or whatever there. It yeah. just like, it felt very homey, and I just appreciated, like, the eye for detail. Yeah, that was one of usually when you're doing a show, the stage manager does not have to remind you to change your name 
underneath your box. Well, and Stephen <laughs> and Stephen had his ex-wife's name. On right. His, he's using her computer. Yeah. Yeah. You know things like that. It was mm -hmm. there. The details were uh, amazing, and there was an actual. He actually has a dog, but uh -huh. the dog was supposed to be at Sally's with Sally, and Sally has right. cats. <laughs> So it was all, you know, at one point the dog was barking during rehearsal and we all looked at Sally, like, can you do something? <laughs> you know? And uh, anyway. Are you, is there more in store? Or are you allowed to talk about if there's a plan to do a third? Or there's talk, there's talk. Yeah. You know, uh, I, we know for a fact that there is not one, there's not a new one written yet. Gotcha. Uh, there's talk about it, but there's also talk about figuring out we're looking at we by we i mean richard right is looking at at the landscape of things we may move to a different form yet interesting uh, and if we do that there won't be a third of this right or, or maybe we do a third of this maybe and then go on to something else but we're trying to not one of the difficulties was if life picks up at just enough more, there would be no excuse for us. There would be no believability no of us yeah. in the same town sitting right. talking to each other on Zoom. Yeah, so, that's true. Marion's that's true. Yeah. Wait, pardon, what did you just say? Oh, I said that never occurred to me. But oh. that, yeah, that never occurred. And why to do me. you? The the reality is really important. Why yeah. are we talking on Zoom when we live in the same town? If we we were we say we were able to have a gathering on the porch socially distanced with masks, you know, to, to sit around and, and talk earlier that day. Why then are we, well, now in this case, we're including Tim. Right. That's different. But anyway, the, so we're, we're trying to uh, stay up with the reality of not just what could work for us, but also what fits the times that people feel that much more separated or less separated um, so it's, it, it, Richard has been talking about things, but, uh, he's the one writing them. So we wait and we'll receive what lands for him. Uh, what was it like to, did it feel, did it feel comfortable to get back to these characters? I mean, you've played them for so long. Oh yeah. No, it was uh, comfortable. I was going to say, did it, did it take any sort of time for you to get back to these characters or was it all? No. Right? They all are extensions. They're extensions of ourselves, but it's interesting because when we did the Gabriels, right. they were different extensions of ourselves. I am certainly not returning to George Gabriel when I do Richard Apple, yeah. but I don't change my hair or I don't talk different. It's just a different set of circumstances. A different thing drives me and, you know, for, for Marianne, I can't speak, but... but uh, no, looking, just looking at the faces, even through the little boxes that we had to do it through, it was sort of, oh, we're home. And and it's sort of, it, it was sort of, it had to be the apples. You know, if, if right. you agreed to bring back one of the families to do this, it had to be the apples. And, it had to be. Yeah, and, and the second one, of course, um, well, John DeVries as Uncle Benjamin is in the first one, his voice, yeah. and then he introduces us in the second one. So... Uncle Benjamin is still there. Um, I know. It was so nice to hear it. I remember feeling so gutted when I saw the Gabriels play where they mentioned that Uncle Benjamin passed. I'm such a fanboy for these plays. I can't yeah. tell you. Well, never uh, actually said about what happened to him. It was right. just his... His, his some of his clothes were being yeah, sold. I, I mean, she, Richard, she decided, Rich, she said, you think maybe something's said, happened you, to him. You I think, don't think it is. Think I think she's died. just selling some of his I don't, clothes. I think that Barbara Apple is just selling some extra clothes <laughs> into, because he's at the um, you know assisted right. living facility. Yeah. And she's just going through his closet. And Richard, of course, went, nah. <laughs> And I said. But we also, <laughs> you know, John is such a part of the family and such a part of this world. And so brilliant in those plays mm -hmm. um we were we were always in touch with him immediately after ju just before and just after both of these plays happened like we can't do this without you being here 
you know, he was he called on the phone and yeah, like that was just he's, no, he's his spirit he's, he's is a, a, an he's immense present. part of this. Yeah, so, and it, that's another thing is that our relationships to these people are what make this family. Yeah, so even if we were if we were trying to be uh, the characters from from the Gabriels, it wouldn't fit with these people. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're, it's amazing how we are defined by partially how we are seen by each other and interact with our family. But yeah. it is a funny um, thing that Barbara, through all four of the on stage Apple plays, you know, Barbara was the caregiver. She was always, right. you no, know, I'll, I'll carry 20 plates out. I'm like, no, 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 I can do it. I'll carry in all the dishes. No, 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 I can do it. And this, um, especially in the first one, she's being taken care of. Right. Because yeah. She's not, and, and um, the the experience of being so ill that she had to be hospitalized and fearing that she was going to die, um, I think shook her. And the relationship with Richard becomes also more complex. They're living, sharing the same home now. And he, especially in the first one, is taking care of her. Right. Yeah. Um, and interestingly, in both plays, though we were pointed in different directions in our own apartment here, in both plays, our computer was sitting on something on the table, on the same uh, fold out table. table that Barbara brought out at the beginning of every, every Apple, Apple play. play. Oh, the, 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 the coming the out the card table. table. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we inherited that. That was a gift to Marianne mm -hmm. from the company after uh, after our tour. Oh, I love that. Uh, so no one else knew that, but we knew it. You know, yeah. the, this table that is we had the, we 10 had the years puzzle, worth of We had life. the puzzle laid yeah. out on with yeah. Uncle Benjamin. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. The details. The details of these things are, you know, we have a friend. My wife and I have a friend. Uh, and in, in one of the Gabriel's places, the one that was right before the 2016 election, there's a mention of a wedding or an event at the Rhinecliff Hotel. Yes. And our friend got married at the Rhinecliff Hotel that weekend. So I've just assumed that it's her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for your time. Oh, and you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for uh, riding with the family. Yeah, thank, thank you for, for, for coming into our dining room. I, yeah. think, I I hope I think and I hope there will be more, um, but it's especially because people seem to care and and connect, and that gives us a, a reason to be. Yeah, I genuinely can't tell you how comforting this was. These things were yeah. uh, to watch now, even though it <laughs> echoes the same sort of fears that I'm just like sitting here feeling. Yes, right. yeah, so, just comfort comforting to yeah. To, guys talk about the beef and his character. But we're all going through it. You yeah. know, yeah. we're all we are all doing this. We're all right. out here. We're all looking yeah. for new reasons yeah. to move ahead and, and new new go ahead to make uh, all of this possible. But it is scary. We're all in the same boat and we have to we have to reach out to each other. Yeah. So people watching at home uh, and so we come forth is available on YouTube through August. August. August twenty sixth. August twenty sixth. I just I was just wow. I read that yeah August. Wow. I just looked at a something earlier today. I said what what what's the date? I didn't remember if it was the twenty third or twenty sixth. But it's been you know the great thing about this too is that we did the we did them at the public theater for hundreds and eventually a few thousand uh, people because of the the size of the theaters, that right. is the intimacy. To be able to have this intimacy and be seen, the first one was seen uh, 80,000 times in over right. 30 different countries, and that we get uh, we get communications from all over the world, places we've toured and stuff. People, oh, I'm, you know, I'm watching this, oh, I care, you know, I remember the apples, how is everybody, and, yeah. um, and, that, and now with this second one as well, it just, there's a wonderful sense of, of moving our circle out wider. Yeah. So. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And these are on YouTube. You can just watch them. You can go on YouTube and just Google it. And, uh, yeah, anytime. Check them out. From anywhere. Yeah. Be well. Thank you. It's Thank lovely you. to talk Thank to you. you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.